Hey guys, and welcome to Kreski's Kitchen. Today's tutorial, Belgian mussels. These guys, the black gold, they're awesome. This is gonna be a short intro because I really want to start digging in in this guys. And uh, let's try the first one of this year. Mm. Awesome. Guys, this is awesome. Follow me on how to cook these guys. Let's go. Okay guys, uh, what you need to look for in mussels, they need to be closed, that is point one. Second, while you clean them, some of them will have wires on the side, it's called the beard. You just simply move your knife against it to remove it. So this is how your muscle should look, closed and black. Some muscles may have this, you can scrape it off to make your muscle look nicer but it's not needed. What you don't want is to have them, sometimes they have like these white spots, those you need to remove, because this will be like sand in your muscles. So next thing you wanna do is give them a really good wash. That is really important. You wash this, you take them out of the water and you will wash them again, like at least two times. We gave our muscles a really good wash we check them one by one. What else do we need? Some butter. You can do a nice chunk of butter, put them in the kettle. Then we have some onion and celery, just chopped up. You're gonna put this in the pan first. We're gonna add, I always say like one good beer glass or one glass is like 250 milliliters of water. You add that. And then you put your mussels on top. A good portion is about 1 kilo to 1.5 kilos each. You need, this is important, a lot of white pepper. And if you have fresh pepper, we're going to do 25 twists. people like me who like a little extra we take 30 we're gonna add a little bit of salt not too much because the mussels itself has a salty taste from the sea so one more detail today we're using a classic Belgian mussel pot which I got from a friend of mine out of his restaurant you see the shape of this cover is like hollow you have some more space so if you have a normal kettle at home with a flat top. Don't fill your pot up, just make sure that one third of your kettle stays free, because while cooking your muscles will open up, they will need some space to open up to get cooked. So ready, let's go. So guys, here we go. We're gonna put on our fire. Just whatever heat source you have, put them on the maximum power. Mussels will take up about, in total, about six minutes to cook. What are we gonna do? We're gonna heat this up. The water and the butter down will start to melt into each other and they will start cooking. We have put our veggies down, so it will give some taste to the water and the butter and the mussels. What are we gonna do after two to three minutes when it's cooking? We're gonna shake them up, making our veggies come on top of the mussels. Then we put them on the fire again for about three, three minutes. We're gonna shake it again, repeat this handling. So the veggies are down again, then we're gonna cook it for one more minute and we're gonna shake them up so your veggies are a little bit on top when you serve your mussels. So what is the reason why will we shake with our mussels about two to three minutes? You could leave your kettle on, put the fire on and wait until all your mussels open. When they are open, it's a, it means your mussel is done. But of course, your heat source is at the bottom, so your bottom mussels will start cooking and getting ready faster than the ones on top. 
So what we would like to do after the two to three minutes, we're gonna shake them up. Just making sure the muscles have a more equal time to cook and get ready. So you don't have the bottom ones cooked to shred before the top ones get ready. So guys, here we are, it's like almost three minutes, three, four minutes past. You wanna take off the top so you can follow. You could shake it with the top on it, but you see the muscles are steaming. Always use a towel not to burn yourself. And we're just gonna carefully shake it. Remind yourself that we put a lot of water in there. So don't shake too hard because your whole fire will be full of water. So and then two minutes past, time for our second shake. You can see. Our muscles are opening up. They're not totally open, so I prefer to give them like two more minutes and they will be perfect. I'm gonna take off the top, off the top. Always be careful with steam coming out. And as you can see, our muscles are opening up really well. I'm gonna give it one more shake. And as you can see, our muscles are really nice open and they're ready to serve. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you liked our Chris's Kitchen channel, please don't forget to subscribe or follow us on Facebook or Instagram.